guys, and welcome, okay, to your May 2020. This is going to be the What Aren't They Telling You for the Beautiful Sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please, the studio is under construction right now, so we're going to be bringing you a couple or probably the rest of these videos on this angle. So just roll with me. Um, this shouldn't be too unfamiliar to some of you. If you have received one of my video readings, then this is the background that you see. So um, I apologize, Capricorn. There was some issues last night on YT, YouTube. And for some strange reason, it wasn't allowing me to record. Um, every time I tried to do anything, I had to tuck my mic since you're seeing me from this view. So just be don't mind that. Um, every time I tried to upload something last night um, in the middle of the Taurus video, it kept giving me an error message. So I decided that it was a cue for me to get some well needed rest and decided that I would just come back to it today. And then today is something else. So I apologize. Let's get started. There were three cards that came out um, during the course of me trying to get this video uploaded. So just bear with me. This is going to be the what aren't they telling you again for the beautiful sign of Capricorn. Um, this is Venus retrograde edition. That's going to be from the 10th through the 16th. Now, before I get the rest of these cards out, let me show you what we have already. First and foremost, we have the six of voices. That six of voices is the, the equivalent, okay? The equivalent of the six of swords. We also have the seven of voices, the seven of voices, okay? Um, which is not necessarily great because that is the equivalent of the seven of swords. We also have the four of inspiration, which is the equivalent of the four of wands. So, you know, looking at this can be construed a couple different ways. I'm going to wait until we get all of the cards out before I make a determination on this. But I do know that in the heart of your partner's energy, you make them very happy. And when we start talking about the four of wands, because inspiration in this particular deck is the equivalent of wand energy, um, then we're talking about, where are my notes? There we go. We're talking about... Someone really wanted to take it to the next level with you and they're not telling you. Here's the thing. I don't know what it is about this energy Capricorn where this person is not being honest with you about how they feel. Um, a six of swords energy, AKA the six of voices is an energy that's talking about how they're trying to get out of an old, get out of stormy or rocky water with you, stormy weather and come into an energy where things between you guys will be nice and pleasant. The, oops. The problem with that is, is operating in this six of swords type of energy is not going to get them there quick. So again, let's keep going. Show me spirit. All right. Then we have the five of materials, which is the equivalent of the five of pinnacles. So they feel left out in the cold. Wow. So this is a punishment. Ace of voices is clarity. That's the equivalent of the ace of swords and that card that flipped over i'm gonna go ahead and take see five of voices five of swords lies tricks cheats and deceits all right so capricorn i you know i've tried with this person that you're connecting with very very hard i've tried with them I don't understand how they're feeling betrayed and they're penalizing you. And honestly, maybe they don't realize that they're penalizing you. Maybe I know that they must be in denial. We got two fives here, which is indicative. Where's my other five? Of betrayal. Okay. They feel as if you left them out in the cold. And that you, but see, they're, they're not telling you, they're not telling you how they feel about it. They're penalizing you, but they're not telling you about it. Let's go, you know, I can't condone that. There is going to be a new level of communication with you guys, but they like this kind I don't like that terminology. Let me rephrase. I'm not going to necessarily say that they like it, but this is comfortable for them. 
they don't see themselves as being the deceptive one by keeping anything from you. They look at your behavior and, and, and make themselves a victim. That's what this is. Clarify the six of swords. Yet at the same time, they have a deep desire to want to get married in this form of inspiration. You inspire them. They are inspired by you. Um, they do want or request or desire a brand new um, communica communicative start with clarity with that ace of voices. W why, if someone, this person is acting, they're, they're, this energy cap is like very bipolar. Um, and, and I hate to say that, you guys. As a cap moon here, I, I'm trying to understand how it's like how somebody is like, I hate to love you. You're there's no water here either. There is no freaking water here, but I really I hate to put all of the crazy emotions off on water um, as a cancer. But uh, there's no justification for this. This person is in their head and they would rather blame everything on you. New love. Okay, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. That's the six of, wow, the six of swords. Hold on. Maybe they are lying. What's clarifying my seven of swords? Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Hold on. Clarify my four... That's engagement. Yes. That's clarifying my four of wands. That makes sense. Okay. They want to ascend to a higher level of commitment. Why are they lying about it? I don't understand why they're not being honest about this. Excuse me. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now, which is clarifying my, my five of pentacles. What in the whole hell, Cap? Let your friends help you. Ha. Okay. Let your friends help you. Clarifying <laughs> the ace of, of swords, your friends. Okay. Ask and accept support from others. Top of the deck, five of voices, which is the five of swords, being clarified by make the effort. Okay, I've been giving you all of those smirks because I don't understand how this person is thinking. Um, the best way for me to do is clarify and break it down as best I can. So they're transitioning out of stormy weather with you. They want to move into where this is a renewal. Okay. They've been deceptive and putting themselves first, but in a very, what's the word? They've been doing it in a deceptive type of way. Now they're being guided to put themselves first in a spiritual way. They've been lying to you about what happened to them in the past. I don't want to say lying. They haven't been telling the truth. Um, they've been deciding not to tell you this. The four of wands is in the heart of the matter, and they want the relationship with you guys to ascend to a higher level of commitment. The problem is, is that they have to get out and transition, not only in better water with you, but mentally transition into an energy where they can handle this higher level of commitment because they want what they want, but they're not willing to do the work. They want the higher level of commitment from the way that they think it should go, but they don't want the higher level of commitment when it comes down to actually doing the work. If you see they want, they want the action of the higher level of commitment. But when it comes down to really putting in work, we're talking about newfound clarity. So this is a person that is driven by not what's being given to them material wise, not what's being given to them from a love standpoint. If you just came and basically told them what they want to hear, they will be okay with that. And I'm sorry, this is the Capricorn video so I can be myself. Um, 
I don't, I don't understand that. You're not showing me anything. You're telling me everything. And I'm supposed to just be okay with that. That's this person. And they don't want you to know maybe how much power you have. It's easier for them to kind of step out in the place where they act like the victim in this five of voices. And they're being guided to make the effort because great love is worth taking the steps that they are being guided to take. But instead, they would rather act like a victim. I don't like that. Clarify the six of voices, which is the six of swords and new love. I am very, very happy that this doesn't resonate with me. But you are dealing with a person who does that opportunity. So there's an opportunity for a renewal between you guys. Um, and remember, uh, coming out of that stormy weather, let me just say that transitioning um, is, and, and I keep saying mind and they're mine and blah, blah, blah. But really what this, this sword card is, what the voices is, a transition of the way that they think as well. So when I said that, I wanted you to actually know that that was here. And they're going to start looking at your, your situation as more of an opportunity for love rather than a burden because they don't understand it. Clarify the seven of swords, which is deception and love yourself first. Sorry, I'm out the frame, which is being clarified by no. So sorry about that. That is so ridiculous. If you can hear that, we don't need to hear your music. Anyway, I believe the no is them being guided that they need to love themselves first, but they don't need to do it in the way where it is deceptive and not conducive for this relationship. Okay. Clarify the four of wands. Water sign. <laughs> It. Wait a minute, guys. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. So shut up. I don't mean to put it. I told you. So yes, it has been confirmed that you are con you are connecting with someone that has water in their chart. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. And yes, this is what they're desiring, and they haven't told you. Clarify the five of Pentacles in the very soon. They do feel left out in the cold. They're probably going through some type of financial um, situation due to what's due to everything that's going on right now, but this is being clarified by nourishment. And so I believe that they're going to get the nourishment that they need, the nutrients that they need to grow the situation. Um, whatever um, is in this particular five of wands, they are going to get five of wands, five of pentacles. Um, I feel as if there is something that they feel like they're missing again, left out in the cold, maybe sick very soon. If someone, and I don't mean with some type of ailment, I mean that, you know, maybe depressed or out of work. This nourishment means that there's going to be a bountiful feast that's coming. So I do feel like this situation is going to turn itself around. Thank you. Let your friends help you. Well, the good news is, is that their friends is going to tell them that they need to take some action. And if you look at that, let me get my wand. Over time, I've been building my castle of love. Get that. Just for two, though you never knew you were my reason. That's just for you, Caps. So the clarity that they're going to get when they, you know, now I don't see any major arcana in here. I'm just going to let you know. I don't see any major arcana. When I see major arcana and let your friends help you, then I'm a little bit more excited when they're, they're involving other people. So I always hope that when I see this, <clears throat> that I at least get an energy of a person who is at least wise enough to guide your person. This is going to drive me nuts. Wise enough to guide your person on what to do, okay? They're being guided to turn back, okay? They are turned back to take some action. And I do see that they are going to be taking some action and they're going to start to really transition in the way that they're looking at this situation and start looking at it more as an opportunity that they need in their, in their lives instead of penalizing you for all of the stuff. Okay. That they should have, 
they should not have been penalizing you for for the first in the first place this is what they're going through in mercury venus and retrograde show me spirit this is the answer is simple and they are a little hard to shuffle as you can see show me spirit oh that's the one i believe that's the one open your heart the card of 15. so that's six soulmate energy where is the book soulmate energy the card of 16. and the answer is simple sorry the card of 15. open your heart to love yourself and experience all of the blessing your spirit offers you must have an open heart um, and that's what they're being guided. Here we go. The ego fears pain and disappointment. So it slams the heart shut. Although it is trying to protect you, a closed heart is actually the source of your pain. What? You better talk about it. The ego, however, <clears throat> convincing as it tries, as convincing as it tries to be, can never shield you because it's discon is disconnected from short source. Only a willing heart can receive your innermost desire. Take the risk, feel the love coming in, open your heart and believe. So unless they open their heart, they cannot open their heart. They're, they're going to be, they're disconnected from source. They're disconnected from spirit and all of the wonderful things that are going to come in for you, for them and your union. And they're blocking this four of, of wands for you guys, which in turn blocks the engagement for you guys, which in turn blocks the emotions. So I feel as if, and I've been capping, recapping, um, they are not telling you that they've been going through mixed emotions. They have been going through a whole lot of mixed emotions. They, the way that they think is up and down, the way that they, the way that they process things are very up and down. They realize that they feel like a victim, but what they're not telling you is that they look at this union as an opportunity. They have to start saying no to the bad thoughts that invade their mind. They have to open their hearts so they don't block their emotions. You could be connecting with Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. They have to nourish themselves and give themselves back all of the things that they say that they've been missing because it is determined now that they've been blocking themselves from the nourishment that is needed. And they're going to be con they're going to be collaborating with people who the, who they trust that's going to be telling them that they need to take action. And we're going to highlight this is the action that's the key some of you guys are going to be going to the next level um, of what a relationship is and whatever that is for you don't rush it they're being guided to open their heart so um i am going to name it something along those lines oh and by the way overwhelmed is is what is clarifying the five of voices so i'm happy to see that I'm out of here. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Thank you for sitting through that. Gee, they are overwhelmed with what they have to do. And this is actually what's going on in their mind. All of the five of voices, the five of swords. So, yes, they do have an issue with looking at things, but they're transitioning out. But that's how their mind looks. Their mind looks like this, like that room, okay? Like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. I'm going to leave you with the open your heart. I will see you here in a couple days when we do it again. Bye, Cap.